Hi, this is Info Puppet. If you like to draw and create, check out combining photographs and illustrations and creating brushes and watermarks. Oh my. You're gonna love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Photoshop Elements 11 is open up. This is where to find PE10 and PE12. And first thing we're going to do is open up a new file. We're going to go to File and New and Blank File. Okay, and I want the background contents to be white and 1280 by 720 is the dimensions. Okay. Now we're going to go to the toolbar and select the brush tool. Alright. And uh, we want black and white and the colors over here, so work with those little buttons if you don't have it. Now we're just going to select a regular brush, like uh, right here, number 9, hard brush. I just do a dot and just hit undo. And now we're going to create a brush. Now I'm just making a very simple brush, but you can draw little, little dashes and lines. Alright, gets much better though. Hang in there, guys. I just selected the rectangular marquee tool and do a rectangle marquee around. I just went to edit and define brush from selection. All right, we're gonna call this, uh, let's see, my first brush. How do I think of these things? I'm so smart. All right, now I just selected the brush tool and we're gonna click on the brush drop down menu here. And to find your brush, you have to scroll all the way down to the bottom and there it is, my first brush. Oh, get a little sentimental. Okay, well, wait a minute, I can't draw anything! What's going on here? Info Puppet is a dummy! Well, the reason why is you have to get rid of the selection there by hitting Command-D on a Mac or Control-D as a dog on a keyboard. See, I can draw now! Alright, now we're going to go to Brush Settings and I'm going to cha uh, bring the U jitter to 28 and scatter to 23%. And see how it kind of spreads apart? So cool. All right, now um, I just clicked on the color picker and we're going to go ahead and select like a, some type of a blue color. That looks good. All right, now we're going to file, new and blank file. And I just hit okay, I have a brand new blank file. Now here's where it gets good guys. So um, I'm going ahead and uh, drag, now if you don't know how to isolate uh, a subject off of the background. Check out that tutorial there on the right. Right there, actually. Okay. Now we're going to go to the brush tool. And I'm going to click on brush settings. And spacing is all the way down as low as it can go. And scatters all the way down. But U jitter is at 100%. And we're going to change the size to 81 pixels. And I'm just drawing. Now I want this to be behind her, so I'm going to click on the background layer and see how that just looks like it's behind her. Now we're going to go back up to the layers panel. I'm going to click on the image of the girl and continue right where I left off. Okay. Now I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go back to the layers panel, but this time I selected the background layer. I'm going to continue where I left off drawing. So this is an easy way to do a technique I had in one of my earlier videos. Alright, now we're going to go to brush settings and I'm going to bring scatter to 5%. And I close that out. And let's go to a different color. So I just left click and release on the color picker and we're going to go with a pink. And we're going to change the brush settings. I'm going to uh, bring the roundness down to like 30%. And look, you can turn this here for the effect that you want. And I'm just going to write her name. Tina. You guys can get really creative with this stuff. Alright, I just hit the undo button a bunch of times. Now we're going to change the mode from normal to lumosity. Alright, 
Now make sure you're on the layer of the girl. I'm just gonna take three swipes here. One, two, two actually. Now I'm gonna go to the background layer and some more swipes. Just trying to give you an idea all the different things you can do when you combine illustrations and photographs. Now we're gonna go uh, and change the brush setting again. We're gonna bring the U jitter down to zero percent. And I just uh, grabbing the color picker. We're gonna change the color again. All right. All right. Well, wait. What's wrong? It's not the color I selected. You have to change lum luminosity back to normal. You see, you can get pretty cool designs. No, I'm no artist, but you guys might be better than me. Now I'm changing the roundness down to about 19%, and just write her name again. Guys, I would love to see the things that you create. All right, now we're gonna go to the eraser tool. And you wanna make sure you remember to change the brush to a regular brush so you can use the eraser tool. All right, uh, I'm just gonna show you a different effect. We're gonna clean up an area here. And I just selected the text tool. I just typed her name, Tina. Now, can we take text and put a rectangle marquee around it and turn it into a brush? Well, let's check it out. Just left click, hold and drag, select edit, and again, define brush from selection. And, Tina brush. Is this gonna work? Well, let's go ahead and grab the brush tool. And, there it is, the Tina brush. I'm left clicking and releasing. Now if you change the brush settings and bring the spacing all the way down to as low as it could go, which is 1%, you can kind of drag it and do different things with it. All right, here comes the best part. Here comes the best part. So here's a complex logo, the Info Puppet logo. Can we turn a complex logo into a brush? Well, let's grab the rectangular marquee tool and draw a rectangular marquee around it. And we're going to go to edit and define brush from selection. And I'm going to call this logo or watermark and click on OK. Now let's grab the brush tool. And we're going to go down and there it is. Now, we're going to create another layer because with a logo or a watermark, you probably want to adjust the opacity or the transparency. So let's go ahead and left click and release. Boom! Now, the brushes, of course, will be affected by color. So if I change it to white, it looks a little bit better. Now, I'm going to bring the size down a little bit and uh, boom! Okay, now... Again, I'm going to bring the opacity down to make it look more like a watermark down to 43%. And there you go. The quickest watermark logo you can make. Just left click and release. Select your brush. Left click and release. And you got a watermark. I love it. Guys, listen. I really would like to see what you create with these uh, illustration techniques, combining illustrations and photographs. So please do me a favor. Type in Info Puppet in Google, all one word. And then when you're at my channel page, click on the Facebook icon and upload to Facebook. My Facebook page, I'd love to see them. Thanks for watching from Info Puppet.